I'm Darren Moore, um, New York City recording engineer. I've been doing it for years and I work with the best and try to do good work. Lately, uh, it's very good. I've been doing a lot of uh, independent work with new and up and coming artists, a couple of singers from Los Angeles and some uh, hip hop and R&B groups here in New York. Uh, it's a really good time in that I can telecommute to work, <laughs> meaning I can bounce files back and forth with my um, artists and clients uh, out in LA um, and also work with people. I work with also with Bashiri Johnson. He has a studio we call The Lab in Brooklyn. He's a percussion player. Um, he played a long time player for Whitney Houston, also Michael Jackson. He did Michael Jackson's last tour. Started out making records with uh, Madonna and um, you probably you have seen him on um, anything that they ever do at the Kennedy Center that has a percussion player. Working with Bashiri Johnson was a big part of my upbringing. His sense of timing is so impeccable. He would tell me, hey, uh, that tambourine sounds like uh, maybe th 10 milliseconds out, and I would zoom in in Pro Tools, and lo and behold, it would be 9, 7, 13 milliseconds out, one tambourine. So a lot of people like to work with me because my sense of timing timbre and tuning is really fine-tuned. I try to keep up with the sounds, um, the sounds of the day, what people are making, what they're working on, what's current. New York is a great place to go out and uh, check out music on any night. Brooklyn has gotten to be a really great place. A lot of great artists have come to New York from around the world and settled in Brooklyn and a lot of these great places like Brooklyn Bowl and everything else have popped up. And I try to just keep and keep up with what the young people are doing, what the new artists are doing, the new sound, what new sounds are happening. And I have a lot of friends you know, who are also DJs who are always just sending me records, playing me records, and trying to trying to put records in my ear. And if they do that, I check it out. And if I like it, I follow through. There was a song that I did with Wyclef, uh, a song called "If I Was President," that got on the Dave Chappelle show and actually was a very big underground YouTube internet success that we, we put it out. One morning he came to the studio and I was there and we both played guitars and he ripped out his guitar and put down something and after a week later we had this really cool song that he used for his campaign. I do have a high-end um, audio interface because I think that's really what matters now and I like to use high-end microphones. I do believe that the technology is such nowadays that if you focus on capturing quality sounds with great microphones, with using good preamps and uh, high-end interfaces, you can do so much in the box. I like 1176 emulations because every studio in New York worth its salt that you went to had 1176 and LA-2A. Uh, so now there's so many great emulations of those two actual pieces of gear that I find that I can't even go to a studio and not load one up as a plug-in. I like the UAD ones best, but even the uh, even the just stock digi design which comes with it, 1176, I put on everything. Um, the LA-2A and 3As that have stock, I put on everything as well. Mix-wise, working for television, you have to realize that the sound reproduction systems are not as full frequency. I mean, they're a lot better now. A lot better now. YouTube sounds a lot better now. Um, television flat screen speakers sound pretty good, and a lot of people are actually plugging them into real um, sound bars or some kind of um, you know amplifier and speaker system. But you have to, when you work for television, you have to realize that not everything's going to be stereo, and not everything's going to have all the low and high that you're looking for. And it sounds like the speakers are more geared towards the the vocal range. So. When you mix for that, make sure your reverbs are nice and big and your vocals are clear and in the middle but not too loud because they're going to poke way out and that you don't have a lot of sub bass going on. Um, you can have like a lot of bottom but just use a nice compressor on that and keep that in check. <laughs> 